Hi everyone! Welcome to Nagoya University. I'm Carl, a fourth year G30 Automotive Engineering student taking the Electrical, Electronics and Information Engineering track. Nice to meet you! Hey Carl, it's nice to meet you too. Could you show me around the campus a little bit? Alright, sure, come on! Welcome to the EI building. Here, we take our mechanical and electrical engineering lectures and also some of our laboratory classes as well. Oh really? Wow! So, what do you guys learn about? Oh, so in the first two years of the automotive engineering program, we get to learn the basic and fundamental subjects of our majors. And then in the third year onwards, we get to learn from applied classes. Here, what special is that we get to learn from the industry's esteemed researchers, where from whom we can learn everything about the vehicle. First, their design and structure. Next, their dynamics, control and safety. And lastly, their development process. In the fourth year, students are assigned to their own laboratory where they can pursue their own chosen interest. Mm, that's cool. Oh, but I heard students either take the mechanical engineering track or the electronics and information engineering track. Mm -hmm. What's the difference? Oh, I have something in my bag. Let me grab it in a while. So, to put it simply, the mechanical engineering track focuses on the mechanical aspects of the vehicle, such as the car engine and the body structure of the vehicle. On the other hand, the electrical engineering track focuses on the car's software components and also the electrical components, such as this. Wow, that's very interesting. How about you, Carl? Why did you choose to study AutoELEC? With the demand of electrification increasing, I decided that I want to study about electric vehicle development. With, Jap with Nagoya being Japan's automotive industry hub, well, I decided that this is the best place to do it. Alright, well, that was a lot to take in. Next, can you show me your favorite place on campus? Alright, sure, come on! This is the school's largest cafeteria. It's one of my favorite places to eat and hang out with my friends. Afterwards, we sometimes go to a cafe downstairs where there's free drinks and of course, air conditioning, very important for summer. <laughs> and um, one of the things that a lot of us do here is join and do some circle activities, or also called bukatsu, and they range from a wide range of activities from music to sports and also cultural exchange. One special bukatsu for us is the school's Formula Electric Team. Here, student teams develop and assemble an electric vehicle from scratch and join competitions. Currently, our team is the second in the whole world. Wow, that sounds fun. How about this? I'm curious about what kind of research your department is famous for. Oh, let me show you to my lab. One of the fields that we are most famous in is the development and advancement of electric and autonomous vehicles. This is a testing center for our research developed uh, autonomous vehicles. So cool, right? Oh wow, self-driving and autonomous vehicles, that's so amazing. And what do students usually do after graduation? Oh, let's ask Ito Sensei. He's one of my professors and I learned fluid dynamics and thermodynamics from him. Let's go! Ah, oh, Ito Sensei! May I ask you a question? Sure. Oh, so uh, my friend Marie San here wants to know what your students do usually after graduation. Ah, okay. Yeah, uh, more than half of the students uh, continue to study at Nagoya University as master's student or PhD candidates. We are very happy with this because uh, that means they like this university, right? <laughs> um, the second common path would be uh, to find, start working in automotive industry uh, like Toyota uh, but there is a there was a student who went to Tesla several years ago and the rest I would think well what separate but some goes back to their home countries but um, yeah many of them stay decide to stay in Japan I think so mm, I'm impressed the future is very promising for aspiring automotive engineers I think that's all for now thank you professor Ito for your time and thank you Carl for showing me around all right, take care, bye. <laughs> so that's it for today. Thank you for coming and I hope you enjoyed. If you are interested to join us, please see our G30 admissions website. I'm very excited to see you. Have fun and see you around.